Hey everyone, it's Vosk with the Vosk on YouTube channel. I'm here with Troy, and today we're building an eight car GPU mining rig, riserless with the Octo Miner board. We're using the Octo Miner board as a built in CPU. It's a 3855U, so it's an ultra power efficient model. Only uses somewhere around like 15 watts, which is very low. Again, all the risers are built in. It has these connections down here to provide power to the actual board in addition to the CPU. We're gonna be using Simple Miner, just loaded on a 16 gigabyte USB or 32 is what I prefer. In addition to that, we're using eight 1070 Ti's. Uh, he's gonna be mining Zencash with this rig. And we're gonna be breaking down just how easy it is to make a riserless mining rig. This is gonna be like a five minute build. But before we begin, Troy, tell us about your other riserless board you had an experience with. So I bought a Honda B250 off AliExpress about, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and it came in the mail and I was so excited. And pretty much I opened it up, plugged everything in, and it was pretty much a sandwich with just two pieces of bread. Had to download the drivers, couldn't download the drivers, couldn't connect to it, it was just, didn't work. So I ended up returning it and now I'm upgrading to the Octo, Octo Miner. So I do want to say that's the benefit of ordering through a company like Octo Miner. Like, yeah, of course, you know, they're not actually building the motherboards themselves, but no one is. They're coming from factories in China. Well, obviously someone is, but they're coming from factories in China. And with that, when you put a brand like this in front of it, it adds some customer service to the aspect. When, when we order off AliExpress, there's really no one to call. You're lucky to, you know, submit a claim on there and get your money back when you didn't get what you ordered, if you even got what you ordered. And granted, I've had good experiences with AliExpress and I've had really, really bad ones. So, you know, with everything, your mileage will vary. There's just some cool little features, like in this Octo board, it comes with a little quick start guide, tells you some basics. And I just know that if this board didn't work, I could send it back, get a replacement or something like that. With AliExpress, Troy, how much did you, like, did you ever get that situation rectified? Yeah, so I re tried to return it. I had to open a dispute and it said, oh, your dispute will take 11 days. But they finally got back to me and then to ship it back, it cost me $150. Might as well have just kept it or something but blew it up but anyway enough of that let's get to the build all right so the setup's real easy we've got two server power supplies link in the description if you need those or want to know what those are or you could use an atx power supply that has the relevant uh connectors you need which i'll break that down in a second but what troy is doing now is he's putting the pca connections that we're going to power the board with per the octominer guide so you only really need two we've got the connections available so we're just going to go ahead and use them so he's going to put five cables into the board I'm going to go ahead and drop the cards in and then we're going to get these powered up. So we finished up the rig. You can see we're using two server power supplies. We have a 1200 watt and a 750 watt. Again, we'll have links to all that stuff in the description. And these wires are a little bit long, but we know we're on a small table here really just for the demonstration purposes. Make sure the rig's working properly and everything. And then uh, Troy's going to take this back to his house and get it hooked up and you know make the wire management a little nicer. We've got three different 1070 Ti's on the rig. We've got the Zotac amps, the Zotac minis, and then the EVGA uh, for the win version. Some people were complaining about the CPU that's built on the board. We like it. I like the fact that it's such a low power draw. The little fan on here kicks pretty hard, which is pretty impressive. And apparently this model doesn't even need a fan. So if the fan ever does die, it's no big deal. And the spacing on the board could be a little bit better, but fortunately uh, Octomiter does offer a solution for that. They have a server rack that you can buy and put this into. And that's kind of, are you thinking about doing that long term, Troy? No, yeah. So these are a little tight and I'm thinking <clears> about <throat> just getting the case. And so that, that's really it. A rise of this build is always very simple. That's why I think we'll see even more of them in the future. I know that some people are building farms with these. Uh, just the ease of use, the ease of deploying. Building, you know, an eight card rig and you actually care about wire management at all, it does, you don't do it nearly as fast as the rise of this build because you just plug and go. I mean, everything for your rig is right here. You just plug the cards in, you plug them in, and you're off to the races. So I, I really like rise of this builds, and I think they're definitely going to have a place to stay in the mining community. Uh, with that said, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate Where are you going, bro? Where, I don't want to be in it. No, you got to be in it, bro. Dude, what do you, you mean? Come on, it'll be fun, bro. I don't know what to say. You know, I just, I'm just going to back out. That's no, no, you can't. I can't be in it, dude. I'll break your rig. I'm so, that's fucked. It's fucked up, man. I'm, I'm holding you at rig point. I'm holding you at rig point. You got to get in the to talk? I don't have a name, dude. <laughs> you want to make up a name? or what about like Octo Troy? <laughs> That would be oh. awful. <laughs> I'll be holding